Welcome to this video. This video is all about iOS 14. I know it's been out for a little bit and I've got to like play with it a little bit. So I want to show you how I set up my iOS 14 and some tips maybe and what I like about it. Maybe you like about it too. Okay, so uh, right here is my iOS 14. It looks different. And I'm kind of liking it. There's one thing I'm like, don't like about it. I'll get into that. So one thing I really like about iOS 14 is you don't have to, you don't have to have all the apps everywhere on your screen anymore. You can only have like I only have the ones I use the most, and then you can just disable all the other other pages, which which I like. I really like that. Like I used to have folders upon folders upon folders of apps, and I used to have to organize them and. It got a little crazy. Now I can only have the apps I use the most on three pages. That, that's that's about it. So now let me get into like my home page. Like in like let, let's let's just dive in. Okay, so right here is my home page. I have like new icons, which I really like about the iOS 14 is you can do like new icons. Like you can download icons that just look cleaner, which which I kind of like actually. So this is how I have mine set up. Um, if you guys want this background, I made this background. It's not too hard to make. Maybe I'll make a video on how I made this, but you, you, you can DM me on Instagram and I'll just send you this as a background. I have three different variations. Okay, anyways. Um, top right, I have my uh, my weather. Now this is, this is not the weather app that comes with the phone. This is an app called Time Page. It's like a different type of productivity app. I really like the look of it. I'm trying to keep everything more like minimalistic now on the phone, so that that's the app I went with. Um, and then I have all my icons. The only icon that stayed the same is the camera icon. I'll show you why. So like, what I had to do is I had to create what's called a shortcut, a shortcut in the phone. Um, and so they're all done through the app shortcuts. So if you don't have that app, go ahead and get it. That's how I made all these. Um, and basically what it is, is I have it all set up like my old phone was. Like, like I have all the icons in the same location. They just look different. So like, when I open up the app though, the thing I don't like about it is how it opens up shortcuts and then opens up the app. Let me show you. So if I wanted to go to, let's say YouTube for example, I have to open it up, opens up shortcuts, and then opens up my YouTube. That kind of sucks. Um, so I have to do that for all the apps that are these these black um, boxes, basically these black icons. If you want these icons, I paid for them because I wanted to make my phone look the best. So I paid for these icons. I'll put them down below so you can, if you want to pay for them, you can do that as well. Um, but I have everything I would need, even my phone, my email, my browser, and I don't use the Apple Music anymore. Even though I have a subscription to that, I use Spotify. So instead of my Apple Music down here. I have my Spotify, which is just easier for me. Easy access, right there. I used to have to go through the second page into a folder and it, this is just easier. And then the third page, I have the Google widget and that's all that the third page is. So if I need to do a Google search real quick, I do that, opens up Google and I'm ready to go. I can also like use the camera to like look certain things up, which is kind of cool. And then if I'm back to my home page and I just keep scrolling, I end up on like, the app library, and I really am liking this app library. I like how it organizes it by itself. I don't have to put it in any folders. And everything is like nice and easy and accessible. Now, as you know, in my studio, I have a thing called first order retrievability. I completely stole that from Tested with Adam Savage. But it basically is, when I'm at my desk, everything I need in a day-to-day -day work day, I can grab from sitting at my desk. I don't have to run around the studio. And that's how I feel that this is set up. I can grab anything I need here and it's very easy. Like I'm in it, what it seems like here too, and I'm not quite sure if this is true, but it seems like it, the apps I use the most are what are showing are in bigger and the apps I use the least are smaller, which, which I kind of like. And it's, it's, it's again, first order retrievability. And then I want to explain why I have the camera not on its own icon. I could have, but I decided not to. A lot of times when I use the camera on the phone, it's because I need a quick photo, a quick video of something. I don't want to, you know, pull out the camera or pull out another camera. Like, it's easy. So if you see here, if I wanted to open up again, let's say YouTube, for example, it has to open up shortcuts and then open up YouTube. 
but if I want to open up the camera, all I have to do is just turn on the camera and it's on. It's right, it's, it's, I can see you through the cam camera right now. So that's why camera is the only one that's not on its special icon, but it's also nice because it stands out. So when I need to do it, it's right there. I also place the camera there because it's also right in the middle of the screen. So my thumb can just easily hit the camera and I can do it. And I can do it from either side of the screen, which is kind of nice actually. So my first impressions of iOS 14 is I'm actually really liking it. I, I normally don't download the iOS updates right away. I let a few months go by, but I was kind of excited for this one. And I was kind of excited to see how other people are organizing and updating their iOS um, screens. And so I wanted to update mine. So I'm loving it. I'm really liking iOS 14. I really am liking the, the how I'm making it a little more mi minimalistic and I'm I mean, the shortcuts thing is nice, it's a little annoying, but I'm getting used to it. I'm really getting used to it. So, um, I know iOS 14 has been out for a little bit now, um, but what are, what are your thoughts on it so far? What, what do you think about it? Are you using it to the full potential? Are you just using it because it automatically downloaded on your phone? I don't know. So, let me know um, in the comments below what your take on iOS 14 is. I'm really liking it. So right now I'm in Charleston. I'm, I'm, I'm here doing some, some work. Uh, I'm gonna go explore today. But that's my iOS 14 uh, update video thing, how I am liking iOS 14. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Alright.